Okay, so I'm taking a look at the card that you asked about, and it was um, y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals 6 minus 3x. And this is on um, our card sort activity where this is a system and we're trying to find out what x is and what y is. Uh, when I look at the system, I see this as something that I would want to solve with substitution because both of them are solved for y. And so what's interesting is when I have y equals 2x plus 1 as my first equation, and the second equation is equal to y also, that means this here can be subbed in for this y so that they're both equal to each other. So I end up with 6 minus 3x is equal to 2x plus 1. And if you think about that, we're also saying that this y is equal to the other amount as well. So we could put either these two together in this place, or these two together in this place because this y would be equal to 2x plus 1 as well as this. We're saying that they're really all equal to each other. Um, and in order to find that, we now want to solve for x. So when I have 6 minus 3x equals 2x plus 1, I want to combine like terms. So I'm going to first move the 3x to this side because it's the only negative and I don't like negatives, so I'm going to get rid of it. 6 equals 5x plus 1. I want to eliminate this 1, so I'm going to subtract it and move it to the other side. And I get 5 is equal to 5x. Divide by 5. That means 1 is equal to x. So now I can go back to either one of the initial equations. I've written them very messily over here on the left. Um, and I can take this 1 equals x, and I can sub it in for the x in either one. I'm going to use this equation here. y equals 2x plus 1. I'm going to sub in a 1 for the x. And I get 1. and three. So the answer to this system is one comma three, or x is equal to one and y is equal to three. Now I've done a whole bunch of some messy work there, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna rewrite the original equations. And I'm gonna sub in x is one, and y is 3 into both of these. So this is 3 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1. And over here, 3 is equal to 6 minus 3 times 1. 3 equals 2 plus 1 is 3. That checks. 3 equals 6 minus 3 and that checks. Now, in the example I showed yesterday um, in class, when I checked, we ended up with two different things at the end. But in this case, we ended up with exactly the same thing because this is a case of the original where y is equal to this and y is also equal to this. So they really mean the same thing. So it makes sense at the very end that we end up with 3 equals 3 and 3 equals 3. So I hope that clarifies. If uh, you want to share anything else that you did differently um, or where mistakes were that you weren't sure how you messed up, please share them with me and I'll see if I can clarify that for you as well. Thanks.